Alright, what up guys, g -Dog Casey here, bringing you some more StarCraft. This is me, g -Dog Casey, against my opponent, Leaf Blower, as Protoss, and obviously I am playing as Terran, which is my main class, and let's get this started. Alright, got my SCVs mining. He did a nice little split with his probes there. I'm not very good at that yet, so I don't really, I don't really do that yet. Um, let's go to the production tab here. Oops, fuck, I did that again. <laughs> All right, D for production. Remember that. And I just want to point out that this is actually a tournament game. Um, I signed up to play in the GeForce Pro Am tournament that they are hosting, which is very nice of them, giving us amateurs a chance to um, <clears throat> hopefully climb out of our groups. Uh, all the amateurs are put into an amateur group, and they basically face off against all amateurs. And whoever comes out of their groups will have a chance to go up against some pros, uh, go up against some pros for a prize. I'm actually not even sure what the prize is because I know I'm not going to really make it. But this guy, Leaf Blower, I believe he is a platinum player. I'm not sure. He could be diamond, but I'm pretty sure he's not lower than platinum. And me, I am a top five bronze player. So that's awesome. Look at this. My STV is just sitting here not doing anything. That's because I'm bronze. But doing these replays and showing them to you will actually probably help me out uh, in terms of playing better because I can see the mistakes I make without actually having the pressure of trying not to make mistakes. And let's see, my opponent right now is opening up with a quick gas and a gateway, which is pretty standard. Protoss units need a lot of gas in order to get going, especially some of the gateway units like sentries. Um, and here we are crossing paths here as we scatter at each other's base. <coughs> I got the barracks going here and the refinery as well because I wanted to go for some medevacs and try some drop play on this guy because um, this is game two, it's a best of three series. Game one he just raffle stomped me so I figured I'd show game two because it was a little bit closer. Um, let's see, I'm looking around his base now. He's getting this cybernetics core which is essential for some of those, uh, especially that warp gate. Um, upgrade which allows him to warp these units into any area where there's a pylon. He's also got a pylon here, but that's no big deal. And uh, so far, let's take a look at what I've got. Nothing too fancy so far. I mean, it's early game. I got a marine out to scare off that probe, and he managed to get away. And here goes my marine, scouting my own base for pylons. You have to check your base for pylons when you're playing against Protoss. You never know when they're going to try something stupid, like putting a pylon in the corner and then putting a cannon like right here and one marine cannot take out a cannon you need like three or four at least and you'll still lose units taking out that cannon so uh... just making sure you didn't do anything stupid like that and i'm getting my orbital command up here which will allow me to drop mules and also do scans if i need and let's take a look at the units tab here he's got twenty two scvs or twenty two probes i've got seventeen scvs he's beating me in the income already by at least a hundred which is pretty sad. I don't really understand exactly how that happened. Probably because, hey, it's taken me a little while to get my SCVs going. You have to constantly be making SCVs. And look at this. I could be getting the stim upgrade any second as soon as my gas hits 100. But I don't. I'm not watching. I don't know really what I'm looking at. I got the factory up. That's all that matters. Two marines. Let's go back to the units tab. He got his stalker out. Let's see what he's doing with that stalker. Just walking around a bit. And he got a sentry out as well. Sentries are great units for supporting stalkers and zealots. Oh, he took out my SCV here. And now he has control of the map. And it looks like he's going for a second expansion already at the 5 minute 20 second mark, which is really fast. Uh, way faster than I can manage to do it. But of course I'm trying to get my factory up here with the reactor and then the starport so I can swap them over and get some medevacs out pretty quickly. I finally got stim going. That was way late though. And I seem to have a lot of minerals right now. I don't know what I'm saving them up for. Let's go back to the production tab and take a look. I am building an engineering bay right here for upgrades and also a supply depot. <laughs> of course. Stop myself from getting supply blocked. He's already got 10 more supply than I do. 11 more, to be a little bit more precise. There goes the swap, and now I can get started on my um, on my medevacs, but I believe I'm waiting for 200 gas. There we go, two medevacs at once. And Stim is still going. 
and two medevacs. He's building a robotics facility right there, which I believe gives him some uh, tougher units later on. I, I'm not really sure exactly what goes with the robotics facility. I'll have to learn that. We'll take a look after because I'm pretty... Yeah, I can check it out once it's built. And so far he is crushing me in the income. I don't know, it's a little close because the mules actually help me keep pretty even, which is nice. But uh, if we go back to production, we'll see that... Or sorry, units, we'll see that he's got 33 probes and I have 21. He's killing me. Because it seems like I have just stopped making SCVs, which is horrible. There's no way I'll be able to catch up if I don't build SCVs, and I'm still not building them. And as you can see here, he is still building them, and now he's got another Nexus, which is also building them. So he is just killing me in the income. And I'm sending a drop over here, which I missed as I was loading it up. But he definitely saw, because he's got control of the Zelnalga watchtowers here, both of them. So what does he do? Brings his army over. Snipes down my medevac with all the units in it, and they're all dead. Gone. No way I can get them back. But my plan here is to expand. I don't know why I haven't done it yet, because I still have tons of money. I should be doing it, but I am not. That's because I'm getting the barracks out and trying to pump out some marines. I got three racks now, which is decent. I got medevacs, one of them. And I'm not building anything out of my factory, because really the only reason why I built the factory was to be able to get the medevacs out. So here we go, massing up a small army here. His army is already like twice my size. He is still killing me in the supply margin, which is pretty embarrassing. But this guy is like a Diamond League player, or Platinum at least. I'm bronze, give me a break. <clears throat> that If he knew, he can just walk in with that army and kill me right now. Like, absolutely no problem. And he does know. He's got an observer out, which is basically an invisible unit that I can't see unless I throw down a missile turret here. And even still, he has to be in range of it for me to see it. And this way he can just keep an eye on his base. Like, let's see, if, if I go to Leaf Blower, his cam, everything he can see, he can keep an eye on my base. He's looking around. He sees that I got three barracks. He sees that I got the starport and the factory. And he's not really sure about my army right now, but... It's nothing to be worried about. So he's just going to keep an eye on me, and honestly, if he knew that I had nothing... Where is his army? Over here. I'm trying to take the gold rocks, or the gold expansion. Which he should definitely do. Especially because I'm in no, uh, no hurry to expand. And look at this. I have one SCV mining over here and a mule. Did I even go to transfer? Here we go. They're transferring over. So I can get a little bit more of a uh, balanced income. But as you can see, well, it's not really a good way to look right now because it's not really fair. I had some guys transferring, but now I am hovering around, uh, let's say, almost a thousand minerals per minute. He's got 1,500. He's killing me. I mean, this is just no contest. He just rapes me in this game, but I figured I'd show it up here anyway because I wanted to give this guy a little bit of props, and it was a tournament game. I was pretty excited to play it. I knew I was going to lose, but, you know, I was excited. What's he got going on here? An Archon morphing two High Templars together. Let's check out this robotics facility. Oh, that's where he gets his observer. A warp prism, which is basically like a transport. Pretty much like my, um... Uh, like my medevacs, except they don't heal, and immortals, as well as Colossus as soon as he gets up a robotics bay, which I don't think he even has to worry about that right now. So he is already moving up with his pretty sizable army, and I'm just sitting here trying to like get a defense together. Now, if that army went up against this army, it would be a little bit closer, but what do I do? I load up both my medevacs and make them take off. I got a couple more medevacs out and still some uh, marines and marauders for minor defense, but his army is just too big. Dropping a pile on here so we can warp in more units, including High Templar, which have this annoying ability of Psionic Storm. But if we go to production, he is not even really going for Psionic Storm. He is just trying to kill me. <clears throat> he's got another Nexus going down at the Gold Expansion. He's got pylons, he's got probes, he's got upgrades plus one coming up. And look, he actually stopped making pros for a second. I am impressed. But he is also doing this. 
completely destroying my defense. Taking out this pretty simply. But what do I do? I got a drop going on over here. I lose one medevac to the cannon. But I take that cannon out actually pretty easily. And I go straight for his nexus. Even though I know that I have this going on over here. Which he hasn't decided to move yet. But he will soon enough as these marines just walk right to their death. Because what can I say? I'm not very good. But I was impressed that I managed to take out his main base. But that doesn't matter because he's got this base which is full. And he's got cannons to defend against more drops just in case. And he's got this gold mining base which is just full. And yeah. As he just walks in and goes to take over my whole army. I throw out the GG because I know there's nothing I can do. And I say it was a bit closer this time because like I said before, the last game he completely raped me. So, just a little overview of what happened in this match. He completely out macroed me. He never stopped making probes, which was uh, which put him way far ahead of me in the income tab. Meant gave him a chance to get up more units. Look at all these gateways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven gateways here. And that is it. But still, he even had more backup here just in case I was able to kill off that army. So there you have it. This one is done. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And there will be some more StarCraft 2 later.